Hi guys. Well, today I am doing a solar system planetarium. It's a do it yourself. So let's open it up and let's see what is in here. It shows here that we have got our planets and our rotation, our axle and everything. So we've got paints as well. So let's go on ahead and get this started. and I don't have to use the scissors honestly but more than likely I'm going to be using them anyway more than likely all right let's see here a nice little seal bag that's nice neatly put together here okay and here's our instructions now here you can, if you're an Asian, you can read it in Asian. Um, hopefully we've got English. Okay, yeah, English. Uh, we'll need a diagonal cutter. That would be to cut out the planets. And uh, we've got the paints and the paint brushes and what they call the seat and the arm or the axle and the arms. Okay. So shows here that we should have, yeah, there's sandpaper. That's to rub off the roughness. Uh, Saturn ring template. Yes, that's in there. And steel bars. They should be in here. I'll know more as I open it up. The tool I may need is what it reads. Okay, so I assume it's a snap together, similar to a model car. Removing the substances out of the bags. Okay, yes, there's the steel rods. And everything is in seal bags. That's nice. That is very nice. Very convenient. That's a plastic coated paper ring. That's neat. Okay. And look here, the um, the arms are already on its axle. That's nice. That's good. That's good. So we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to do that. Okay. I'm just going to go on ahead and use these scissors. Actually, these are finer scissors, so hold on just a moment. I am going to go get my other scissors. All right. Let's go on ahead and take these off.
Well, you can come off if you wish. Thank you. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's go on ahead and sand the rough off. I would think it'd take a little bit rougher to do it. I'm not going to care too awful much about the about the edges, honestly. I'm not. It isn't worth fussing over that much. Sandpaper's hardly rough enough anyway, so yeah, I'm not really going to fuss too awful much about it. All right, let's go on ahead and assemble. So now Saturn has got its rings, right? Okay. All right, now, let's see here. Oh, I was just looking to see how much time now. Okay, it's already got the arms on there. Now it shows here for me to go on ahead and paint the planets. Refer to the package for ideas or see section following for more painting tips. Okay. So we'll refer. All right, I'm going to use this little bag right here to put the red planets on. And it shows the sun is red. So we're going ahead and get the sun done. Man, I remember these little buckets. Haven't used them for a long time. Haven't used these kind of paints in a long time. Good thing I've got my water here. I do not have a towel though, so wow. We're seriously not prepared. Hmm. I've got markers here. And they're fine point. I bet I could do it a lot better. Yeah, I'll have a little bit of fun here. Colors won't be precise because I ended up messing up my blue, but there is a lighter blue, so yeah, we'll just have a little bit of fun here. And it will dry faster believe. Maybe not. But that's because I don't have a rag. So. But I'll be able to really precision paint with these. So let's go on ahead and we will use this for our sun. Okay, it appears I'd already opened it. Uh, 
and let me go on ahead and put the rod through the sun. That will make it easier to paint. Am I to assume that the smaller rod? Okay, the sun has no rod at all. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, let's go on ahead and paint our sun. Kind of make the planets a little on the glittery side too, which will make them look neat. Anyway, I'm not so much going to bother with painting all of them. I'm mostly just giving you an idea of what's involved. Put them together and stuff. But then again, I may. I mean, you know. Thing is, when you're doing a craft, unless it's something that's lickety split like doing a rinky dink or, or a... a the shrink-a-dink, shrinky-dink. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to do crafts. It really does. Anything that requires stitching and painting and assembling, it takes time. And I am trying to be quick about this because I'm not. I'm not wanting. Um, I'm not wanting the video to be so long. But I guarantee you, it wouldn't have been easy to paint these anyway, even with the paintbrush. I mean, like, I'm trying to hold on to this silly thing. I'm going to go along with the idea of putting a rod in it anyway, and then I can remove it. It'll just make it easier to paint. I'll remove the rod after it's finished. Hmm. Let's well, it just won't work. It just won't work. So, even if I would use the paintbrush, it, it still, I would end up extremely messy. I mean, it shows to put a rod in so you can paint it. That would help. Anyway. I'm trying to get this sun painted, but... It would be extremely messy for a child, that's for sure. No problem getting it assembled. It's the painting that you run into a mess. I must would pay to just get the paint all over your fingers and then rub it on it. half tempted to do that because it's getting all over my fingers anyway the way it is. That 
That is one funky looking sun, is it not? Yep, one very funky looking sun. I mean, I don't care if I would use the brush and the paint or if I would just keep using the pen. That's the way it goes. So, like, the ink, the uh, paint is all over the place. So, and I'll let the sun dry. Look at that. That is so pathetic. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use a uh, tissue. They are acrylic paints, so they're water-based, which means that they dry fast. So that's good. Okay. So let's go on ahead and get our base here, our stand. And um, we'll go on ahead and get it in there. And um, so it shows here, it said that the arms, Mercury, Which, okay, this one, the one next to the sun, is this one right here, and they've got it painted right and black. And that one right there is Mercury. And that's the one I think is planet Earth because it looks like Canada and Florida and all that. Yeah, this is like okay uh, I guess I've got mercury Zoom. I'll probably end up screwing up every single one of these, more than likely, because I do not know the planets, you know? I don't know. So I'm assuming that this is Mercury. Um... It is showing black and white, so I'm going to use my dark purple. But yeah, if I end up screwing up all of these, I am so very sorry, because I do not know the planets. I really don't. But you do get an idea, you know, you get an idea. Someone who's really into this stuff would know more, a lot more. A whole lot more. 
I just don't. I never took too much interest in um, the solar system. Not too awful much. So, yeah, forgive me if I screw this up. I just kind of dabble here and there on this. Um, anybody who's into astrology would uh, be able to astrology or astronomy. Whichever it is, has got to do with the solar system. Anyway, anybody who truly knows what the planets look like would be able to put this together, no problem. They would know what planets are what. So once again, I'm screwing up another planet. They're too tiny to paint for one. And if this was a larger scale, it wouldn't be too much of a problem. But it seems like everything I've been having to do is so little. And it is hard for me to get a good grip because I like my long nails. If I didn't have nails at all, it'd be even harder. And they expect kids to do this. How? With their tiny little hands. I don't see it. Maybe I should forget trying to paint these and just stick them on. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I'm making a mess of it. You can't hold on to them. Even if I didn't have nails, I wouldn't be able to hold on to them. They are extremely tiny, guys. Extremely tiny. So I'm just going to assemble them. I'm just going to basically assemble them. That's all. And, um, you know, hopefully like, I'll get them all in their respective spot. So let's go on ahead and put our wonderful warm sun on. There we go. There's our sun. And then we'll put our pathetic looking mercury. <laughs> ah, the pathetic mercury that I attempted. Let's see what kind of pen did it uh, Okay, it gives it an extremely long rod. So let's see here. We've got two long rods here. I'm going to get these out. We've got two long ones. I'm assuming that the... Okay, they're both the same size. Okay. Yeah, that you know, isn't it something how their displays are always so perfect? You wonder, don't you? You wonder. Okay, I guess I got it in there good enough. It's definitely just a model and nothing else. That's for sure. I don't think it, it could ever be played with. And then Venus. Um, the second one down. Has a swirl on top. So let's see. Let's 
definitely not that. So it'd have to be this. Yep, swirl on top. And it's got a medium rod. Medium height rod. About like that, I guess. Whoop. Almost dropped it. Almost dropped poor Venus. Okay, the next one has to be Earth, right? Earth. And um, it's got a very short rod. I ain't about to try to paint Earth now. I would screw it up for sure. Okay. There's Earth. This would be Earth. No, that is not Earth. That's Pluto. So this is Earth. <laughs> okay, the next one is Mars. <sighs> next one down is that. Okay. And that sure doesn't look like Mars. It doesn't look like Mars. You know, it does look like we've got some missing planets, don't it? I know for a fact that this is Pluto. And this, I believe, would be Uranus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then. Well, then this would have to be Mars. And it doesn't look anything. Oh, I guess Pluto falls next in line. But no, it says Mars on the arm. Alright, whatever they say. Okay, that takes a next medium rod. Whatever they say. Okay, next is Jupiter. Ain't no mistake in Jupiter, that's for sure. And Jupiter has got a long rod. I guess the longest rod goes to Pluto. Hmm. 
Or maybe they're not using Pluto at all. If they done that when Pluto was no longer was uh, claimed to be a planet, which guess what? They have once again. Nope, no Pluto. But once again, they have claimed that uh, Pluto is a planet. They changed their minds. I never thought it stopped being planet, being a planet, even when they thought it was a dwarf star. I never did stop calling it a planet. Okay, there's Juniper and of course Jupiter rather and of course Saturn which uses a short rod Sorry, I have not painted these it's a shame because it would it would really it would look awesome painted but because of them being so small there really is no way of painting them there really ain't okay the next one is Neptune can't say it because they're not colored Uranus which Is very out. Okay, that would be Neptune. So this is Uranus, the next one. This is Uranus, and it uses a long rod. Okay, and of course, now we're doing Neptune. Mm. A lot of planets have got gassy rings, don't, don't they? Okay. Here we go. All right. Now, how are they positioned? So like, that one about up there. Earth is right here. This is way over here. And, um, this is like here. Saturn is way, it looks like it's way out here, and um, this is about here, and this is around here. So there we have it, and there's that's it <laughs> anyway I'm sorry I didn't paint the rest of them but uh, you can get an idea here how it all looks doesn't look too awful bad 
Um, anybody that's actually into the planets and stuff, the solar system, you know, you can get into this. Of course, it's a very small model, and you can get even bigger models than this. But that's pretty well it. Does it look bad? Even on painted, it does not look bad. So, all right, guys. And there you have it the do it yourself planetarium. And, um,. Once again, I apologize that I didn't paint all of them, but at least I did get them assembled and put together. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.